lot of what you're talking about seems like it's you know an acceleration of, of an existing strategy with, with some tweaks and changes. But I'm just curious, a, a lot of it seems like softer targets. So as you look at the development and implementation of your strategy, Jim, um, you know, what kind of metrics are you going to be using to measure your success? Because, I mean, obviously you guys have been putting up some pretty good earnings uh, in, in cash flow. So will it continue to be sort of the standard financial metrics, or how will you gauge the progress uh, of, of your strategy? That's the first question. And then just a, a second question, is there any change in capital, you know, structure, either increasing dividends, buybacks, or, or anything else like that? So on the first question, and thank you for your comments, um, the, you know, Ford's ability to track where it is and to understand kind of the heartbeat of the company is one of the things it has mastery of. That's a different answer, though. That's the process to watch where we are. What I want to help impact is where we're going. And so that's, that's to come. That's news that you're going to hear about. Uh, I agree with you that uh, if we're in a rising tide market and, and earnings uh, kind of enjoyed the effect of that. I want to see us differentiate ourselves. And so you'll be hearing about things like that. And particularly in the areas of capital deployment, uh, that's a form of fitness today. Shareholders, uh, Ford family, expect that we're returning that cost of capital. And that is one of the exercises that was in flight. But I think it would be wrong for you to say that we had that where we wanted it, and, uh, and I'm just uh, kind of a caretaker. I actually think the first thing I'm doing is tearing into that to, to make sure that it's aggressive enough. And, and John, on your, your second question on um, any capital actions, um, I, I wouldn't expect to, to see any announcements. We're always looking at it, as you can imagine, but uh, nothing related at all to this announcement today um, that would be different than what, anything we've told you. But I, but I also want to answer, too, uh, your, your assumption that we're kind of status quo uh, in terms of where we're headed. I, I just want to reiterate what Jim said. That, that's not really the case. Um, we need to have, um, you know, if you think of a clearer view of the future, and then uh, once you have that, you can make decisions very rapidly against that, that clear view of the future. And I think you should expect us to start articulating that. We won't have all the I's dotted and the T's crossed by definition because we're in a very fluid world and our strategy will evolve. But you will see signposts along the way and we'll be, we, we will be communicating with the street um, metrics that uh, I think you can uh, judge us by. Next question. And a common wagon with UBS. Oh, great. Thanks for taking my question. Um, I think, you know, in some of your background, uh, uh, Jim, it mentions that you've sort of driven cultural change. Uh, do you think there's a need for a large cultural change at Ford? And what kind of things, if so, do you kind of expect to drive that? Well, if you could see me, I'm smiling because, because Bill on my left here, see, the, the, the thing that shouldn't escape us is he gets it. So, so the so Bill Ford understands the culture, and we're totally aligned. I would, I would say it's, it's an emphasis, you know, being more emphatic about parts of the culture that need to come out. I mean, both of us feel like over years, you know, the, what happens in big corporations, the, the bureaucracy and the hierarchies probably overwhelmed uh, what can be uh, faster decision making, clearer uh, understanding teams working uh, collectively. Um, but. But in addition, fun, you know, we, we both uh, tease each other. We like to have fun because we work really hard. We're both really competitive. But we want people to come to work thinking that, that you know, they can have a great day here. So these, these are things that I would say, yeah, there's, there's pockets of this. It exists, but we're, we're going to make it more emphatic. And, and one, one thing I would just add to the culture that I think Jim will bring us is, you know, one of the things that's, that I've always... Um, I love so much about our culture, but one of the things that's frustrated me uh, over the years has been our, our obsession with hierarchy within the culture. Um, and um, if we're really going to get the best out of our employees and really have true teamwork, then we're going to have to um, you know, bend that, uh, that notion of hierarchy uh, within the company. Uh, and that is very much a cultural thing. And so it's hard to do. It's come up, as Jim mentioned, it's, come, you know, it's existed for a lot of years. Um, 
But Jim is a, a cultural change agent, and you know, and I, I promised myself I wouldn't compare Jim to Alan this morning uh, because it, you know it's not it's it's not right. They're very different leaders uh, for very different times in our in our. But but the one thing that that I think you that that I'll break my rule just this once by saying that uh, that Alan really uh, uh, captured the hearts and minds of our employees and made them feel uh, that. Um, that not only w could we win, but that we were going to win, and they were going to have fun on the journey. And I think that's something very much you'll see with Jim. Got it. Thank you very much, and uh, congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.